Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 5 p.m. Mass here at St. Bridget and also on live stream on Facebook. Uh, we ask you at this moment to take, a, take a, the opportunity to silence your cell phones, and you can keep them handy if you want to. We still have posted the, uh, the uh, lyrics on the website along with the readings, but you don't have to because guess what's in the pews? The books are back. And so we hope that you can use them. Uh, the, the hymn boards are up, one on this side and one on this side. And uh, you can see the numbers. The first number is our opening song. The second one is the preparation of gifts. And the uh, third one is communion. And the fourth one is the recessional. The ones that are starting with the number two are found in the spirit and song hymnals. So the, the first one and the last one are in gathered. We thank you so much for being here, and we ask you to please stand and join in our opening song, Sing of the Lord's Goodness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate God's presence, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, shout with joy for Jacob, exalt at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them back from the land of the north. I will gather them from the ends of the world with the blind and the lame in their midst. The mothers and those with child, they shall return as an immense throng. They departed in tears, but I will console them and guide them. I will lead them to brooks of water on the level road so that none shall stumble. For I am a father to Israel Ephraim is my firstborn. The word of the Lord. The psalm response is, the Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. We are filled with joy. They 
go out, they go out full of tears, bearing seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back with a song, bearing their sheaves. The Lord has done great things for us. We are filled with joy. We are filled with joy. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every high priest is taken from among men and made their representative before God to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal patiently with the ignorant and erring, for he himself is beset by weakness. And so, for this reason, must make sin offerings for himself as well as for the people. No one takes this honor upon himself, but only when called by God, just as Aaron was. In the same way, it was not Christ who glorified himself in becoming high priest, but rather the one who said to him, you are my son, this day I have begotten you. Just as he says in another place, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a sizable crowd, Bartimaeus, a blind man, the son of Timaeus, sat by the roadside begging. On hearing that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Jesus stopped and said, call him. So they called the blind man, saying to him, take courage, get up. Jesus is calling you. He threw aside his cloak, sprang up, and came to Jesus. Jesus said to him in reply, What do you want me to do for you? The blind man replied to him, Master, I want to see. Jesus told him, Go your way. 
Your faith has saved you. Immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Three days ago, I was asked uh, by some seminarians, what is the most painful thing for you as a priest, as a pastor? And I told them the most painful thing for me is also the most painful thing for any parent like you. When you see your family divided, When you tell them this is the truth and they tell you, no, that is not the truth. When you tell them this is a reality and they tell you, no, that is not the reality. They deny the reality and they don't want to have conversations with you. And that is hard for all of us. For you and for me as a a pastor, for you as a parent. And... It seems that many of us are that Bartimaeus, blind, sitting, sitting at the roadside. Our problem is that we choose to be blind. And and that's a big problem. And it seems that I, I, I... I strongly believe that many of us are like with one eye only. We see only part of the truth, part of the reality. And I think that many of us are like Bartimaeus in need of us, Jesus, Lord, have mercy, have pity on me. I want to see. I want to see the reality as it is. I want to see the truth as it is. I want to follow your ways. Since the Lord is the light, the way, the truth, I think that all of us should follow the Lord when he is passing by. It is wonderful when Jesus is passing by and he comes with his light, with his truth. And we, we can see the beauty of God's creation. We can see the, the, the good in each one of us. And the Lord is inviting us, follow me. Change your ways. Open the other eye. Open the other eye. Open your ears. Bartimaeus couldn't see, but he was able to hear. He heard the Lord is coming. He had that faith, uh, even when the others, the crowd, were telling him, uh, be silent. He was persistent. I want to see. St. Augustine says that uh, Bartimaeus was a a very important person in, in, in that society, uh, is Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus. When, when you are mentioned the son of blah, 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 it is because you are important. And, and 
You remember last weekend the, the sons of Zebedee, yeah, and you are important. And St. Augustine says that Bartimaeus was a, a, a wealthy person. Uh, he wasn't born blind. The gospel should say, it, should, should say it. He wasn't born blind. He lost all his, his possessions, all his wealth. And, but he kept the hope. He had hope. He wasn't discouraged when the Lord was passing by. I want to see. Lord, have mercy, have pity on me. And it is important that the Lord is asking him the same question he asked James and John in, 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 the, in the gospel last weekend. What do you want me to do for you? I want to see. That's the only thing I want. I want to see. He could ask for many other things. James and John had the, 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 the courage to ask for power, authority. And the Lord didn't say no. He said, yeah, you will have it, but in my way, and later, you will drink from my chalice. I think that all of us should answer that question. What do you want me to do for you? I want to see. Son of David, that's important too. Son of David means you, you are, uh, you are the, the, the new David. You are the, the, the shepherd, king of Israel. You have to take care of the flock. You can provide for us what we need. As the, the first reading says, the, the lame and the blind will come to God. The shepherd, David. But then he says, Master, Rabboni, the greatest teacher of Israel, Rabboni like Mary and Magdala in the garden, Rabboni, Master, I want to say, Master, teach me the way, teach me the truth. And he followed Jesus Christ in the Lord's way, entering Jerusalem where Jesus was going to be crucified. James and John saw the Lord's transfiguration. Now Bartimaeus is going to see the Lord dying, disfigured. He had great faith. I, I know some people, I, I, I. You cannot open their eyes, you cannot open their ears, and, and, and that's painful, and, and, and you know that too, your children maybe, a sister, a brother, and... But the Lord continues calling us. In the first reading, he's calling humanity to a great, great exodus. Come back to God. Those who are lost, those who are blind, those who are deaf, those who are lame, come back to God. I will console you. I will guide you. 
And then the second reading, beautiful too. We have a high priest, Jesus Christ, who leads us to heaven. That's another thing. I hear many times and, 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 and very often, we don't need representatives before God. We don't need priests. Well, the Bible says something different today. He made the representative before God. We need priests. And the priesthood is not something, uh, as, the, as the reading says, we can call upon ourselves. It comes from God. Yes, we need representatives before God. Do I recommend this to you, young men? It's painful. It's painful standing before God and telling him, Lord, they don't want to hear. They don't want to see. Lord, they don't want you in the Eucharist. It's painful. Do I recommend this? But we need it. It is given by God. And we cannot, uh, we cannot take this honor upon ourselves. It comes from God. And I'm sure the Lord is passing by every day and the only thing he wants from us is open your ears, open your eyes, follow me. I will give you life, light, truth, salvation. That's all what we need. Please stand. Let us proclaim our faith, our creed. I believe in one, one God, God, the Father God Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all, all things sin visible and, and invisible. invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death, was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father who will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead in the life of the world to come, 
Amen. Confident in his care for us, let us place our needs before the Lord. For God's holy church, may all members listen to the voice of the Lord, calling them to fullness of life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the leaders of nations, that they may be committed to justice for all peoples and dedicated to building a world at peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who grieve the loss of a loved one, may they know the compassionate love and comfort of God's embrace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all gathered here, may we be healed from every spiritual blindness and focus our gaze on Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick and suffering and all who have died, we especially remember George Walling, Johnny P. Ruiz, Gabriella Saunders, Rebecca Daniels, Margarita Salinas, Gilbert Rodriguez, Anna Bella Patone, Gloria Munoz, and Nick Luis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the prayer petitions in the Blessed Sacrament Chapel, the Marian Chapel, and our own private petitions, which we now offer in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. God, our Father, hear our prayers that we might serve you with fidelity and love our neighbors as ourselves. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. The song, the preparation of gifts is Open My Eyes, found in the Spirit and Song at number 337.
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done for us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering, counseled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. as the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. 
and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gustavo Garcia Siller, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Father, we pray for all our deceased relatives and friends, especially our parents and grandparents, and George Whaling, Johnny P. Ruiz, Gabriela Saunders, Joe Kopecki, Joe Wizard, and all who have died in your mercy. Father, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Father, we also pray for John Ayala on his birthday. And we pray for Mercedes Garza, Sheila Amos, John Hay, and Rick Samago, who are sick. That with a blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Bridget, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray the Our Father at the command and divine teaching of Jesus Christ. Deliver our Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you peace again.
Behold, this is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say Lord. the word, and my soul shall be Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. Lord, pour out your power and love. We sing holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. You are holy, 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 I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you. body of Christ. The song for Holy Communion is Vine and Branches, number 261, in the Spirit and Song hymnals.
Let us pray. May your sacraments, O oh Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Confessions, Wednesdays and Thursdays, 5 p.m., okay? In front of the church. And I went to visit... Uh, uh, Kid Moran, he's doing good, thanks God. Yeah, he's doing great. And I went to visit also Rick Samago. We had a conversation already. Yeah, that's wonderful. We were talking like, that's wonderful. The Lord is taking care of them. We are praying for them. Let us pray for one another and everything will be okay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May your mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your light. Thanks be to God. The closing song is Sing to the Mountains, gather number 435.